toe and right go wrong. Just say a little prayer, get your money, man. Life like goes on. I'm That's hopeful. Hope. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away and be hopeful, hopeful, and he'll make a way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Virtuous Life starring Virtue. Sorry, I'm so excited. I'm all right, I'm really energetic. I'm just happy to be back sitting in this chair behind this massive clock that doesn't work and talking to you guys after so long. I finally finished my placement. Gooch gang, gooch gang, gooch gang, gooch gang, gooch gang. I'm hanging my hat up for the year till next summer, but we don't, we don't talk about that. Anyways, you've seen the intro, um, this video, I'm just going to tell you why. Here comes my little opinion, my little two cents and no one asked. I think it's mandatory that engineering students should have placement. You see how like medics and the nurses, are, um, any like doctorate type degree has like a placement like incorporated in their degree. Engineering is so practical, like it's a practical based degree, we can all agree with that, okay? So I feel like why don't we have placements that are mandatory, like why don't we have like incorporated placements? Why do we have to find our own placement? Because when I tell you I feel 10 times smarter, 10 times better, 10 times more confident in myself and in my degree after I've done my placement, and I feel like we're learning all this theory, all this damn theory, and we need to put it in practice eventually, so why not give us I allocate us some time to put it in practice. Anyways, it might be just waffling. That's, that's, I just wanted to get that out there. But I'm just going to talk to you about my placement, why I'm happy that it's done, why I'm grateful that it happened, and why I think everyone should have one. Okay, let's cue my actual intro. Oh la la. <laughs> Okay, so my placement was 10 weeks. I was with a civil engineering company because I study civil engineering. Okay, I was in contracting, which means we're mainly on site. Okay, let's not get it confused with consultant. Consultant, like this, if, I, if, if I could just like run it down for you, it's like you work in office, you deal with the client, you deal with the CAD, the designing aspect. So I was in the contract, contracting thing for 10 weeks. You saw my day in the life of intern. I'll just briefly tell you what I did. It, it, it incorporated like site um, inspection, health and safety, audits, um, just like dealing with daily site issues, quality assurance, quality control, site diaries, just things like that, surveying, um, some QS stuff as well. And I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, I'm just going to give you all the good stuff, why I thought it was amazing, okay? I thought it was great because I felt like an engineer for the first time in my life. Like, okay, I know that earring is missing. We're not going to talk about that. We're just going to roll with the camera. Roll with the camera? Anyways, I just thought like, oh, damn, I'm I'm a second year civil engineering student. I'm being treated like an engineer. And this, this potentially is the field I want to go into, potentially the sector I want to work into. And I was just so grateful to have this placement because... I tried my hardest to get one a second year. And then when I heard that it could potentially be cancelled because of COVID, obviously no one could control like this whole pandemic. But I was just, I was just so heartbroken. I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to go into third year and have another placement. I'm not, 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 not going to get hired. Anyways, mine was luckily um, on. Um, most of my friends got their cancelled. Even like, even like year in industry, like, place, like year, doing a year in industry was cancelled as well. It was just really fun seeing how, I'm just, you're going to hear me talk about this loads. Seeing the theory put into practice. Because there's one thing seen through a two, and a two and a half hour lecture talking about like the management on site. And there's another thing having a 10 minute morning briefing and seeing like the subcontractors, the foremen, the skilled operatives, the project manager, the client, everyone you'd learn in those lectures, but in 10 minutes. And it just makes way more sense. Okay, I'm not saying this lecture's lectures obviously have their role to play in, in the degree wise like they're so important obviously you do need to learn the theory before you can put it into practice but like there's just certain things that you will never understand until you see them or like you'll never really fully grasp until you see it in action and so like with construction management which was a second year module seeing everything i swear i learned like the whole of construction management in the 10 weeks i had like on site like everything in construction management was just 
site to a T, um, contracts, learn about that, NEC, new engineering contracts, NEC 3, option B, option A, blah, blah, blah. I learned about management on site. I already told you about that. I learned about um, quality assurance, quality control. I learned about how you deal with people on site. There's one of them, like, um, like if something happens, you have a toolbox talk. Like if, some, if a safety issue occurs, you have a toolbox talk, which is like a five minute brief about this particular safety issue. And then you document it. I just learned an immense amount of things being on site and being my placement. Don't get me wrong. The certain days I felt like, raw. okay, I need to go home. Or like, this is just long or like, like this is just too much but like if you just push it through and have like just stay on it it will be great it'll be worthwhile and i definitely think i've come back come out of this more secure more confident in myself in my degree or my ability to understand this, this degree um i'm more confident as a student engineer i just feel like I'm just feel happy man and you get paid so if that should if that's not an incentive enough money is should be your incentive you get paid 3k 4k maybe i don't know like i'm not giving you my number but you get paid okay so yeah so i just really enjoyed my placement i'm so grateful for the people i was with i worked closely with the project manager on the site i worked on a couple projects um the main one was a reconstruction of the high street and listen it might sound boring to you but there's a lot going on in road resurfacing and reconstruction we're talking about sub base we're talking about wearing course vinyl course sealant we're talking about foundation type one we need to know whether the foundation can withstand the moving vehicles okay there's a lot going on um and another thing we did was the voxel bridge listen if that bridge doesn't get serious help right now it's going to i'm joking um the voxel bridge is basically mitigating the flooding issues because a little bit of cracks and concrete deck and then you have seepage it's a reconstruction of the footway mending the cracks in the concrete putting a whole new road surface on it this that and that was very interesting to um witness um, I don't want this video to be too long, so the last I'm going to mention about why I particularly like the company I was with. Okay, um, I think it's so important. Obviously, get like get the experience, but also like bear in mind about like, can you see yourself working for this company? With me, we got like beside we got um, a work phone, work laptop, all our PP. I have them all here. Like we got to keep it. Um, obviously, um, I have like we were just catered for. I felt like they had enough money to invest in their students and like make sure we had the proper uniform to be on site. Like, there's no point doing a half drip with PPE. Like, it's either you wear it all or you don't wear it at all. You can't be half safe, you can only be fully safe. Um, what's called we also had like i like the structure of our placement of my placement i had so many people around me this little bubble making sure i did well i had um, a project manager who i work closely with on a day-to-day -day basis and then i had a mentor an ic ic mentor and I, we had like weekly catch-ups and i saw on, like multiple times not multiple like two twice and it was just really great having someone you can speak to okay so my the person so like the project manager i worked with on a day-to-day -day basis like we dealt with issues i would copy it in every email like i felt like i was i felt like I, I i had a proper job i know some internships you can feel like am i just an errand boy am i just getting coffee am i just doing this that like am i actually gonna learn in june or like am i gonna do what i was meant to do but on site with this placement i felt like uh, i was student i'm a student engineer and so working with him we did like all the engineering day-to-day -day basis thing and what i liked about my mentor on the other hand we got to talk about things that things on site and just things in general so like how i'm feeling my emotions um what i want to get out of this um my uni work just life it just it was just good to have that other source of like um support and then obviously we had my supervisor I just felt like there was a great network. There was, the team made you feel comfortable enough to just speak openly and freely. And then last, um, I think that's about it. Overall, I just really like my placement. I think every engineer student, student should get the place, have a placement. Obviously, I know circumstances, like it's really hard to get placement sometimes, depending like if you're an international student in the UK. Um, it's just sometimes it's just really hard like it's interviews not always like the best portrayal of you like I normally don't do that well in interviews I do better now but like I can't I understand how it can be hard to get placement but I if you can get one I say you should get one especially if this is where you see yourself 
in like five years time if you see yourself as a civil engineer or like a chartered engineer or like this is the profession you want to go down to then i think it's important to get some kind of experience before graduating before getting into that workshop just so you you can like taste the waters a bit anyways thank you so much for watching this video uh catch me in the next one also do you like my eyeshadow i matched it with my top bye